Today I want to share with you why I love shooting with hard light and why most people are usually so afraid of it. I'm Lindsay Adler and I'm a portrait and fashion photographer based in New York. A majority of photographers only use soft light, and for good reason. A softer light source is more flattering on the skin straight out of camera. And this is why you see photographers using modifiers like umbrellas and soft boxes and octoboxes and shoot through umbrellas and much more. Hard light, on the other hand, can be very tough on the skin. When you look at an image lit by a hard light modifier, you see very abrupt transition on the edges of shadows and a lot of contrast throughout the photograph. And this, unfortunately, emphasizes blemishes and unwanted skin texture and oily skin and more. And this is why so many photographers never even try their hand at the creativity you can get from using a hard light. I, on the other hand, love hard light. And if you look through my portfolio, many of my favorite images are shot with extremely hard light. Hard light modifiers include magnum reflectors, bare bulb, even direct sunlight. Hard light creates very defined shadows, which allows me to play around and get creative for really dramatic results. Now, furthermore, since most photographers only favor soft light, then using hard light allows my images to stand out from the masses. While there are many reasons I love hard light, I'd like to share three reasons that it really excites me. Because hard light has a lot of shadow definition, it gives me a great deal of control. I can place a shadow or a highlight exactly where I want it. And it gives my image a look of precision, which is exactly what I want from my style of photography. Bold, graphic, strong, precise. I love playing around with creative use of shadows, even casting unique patterns on the face. Sometimes it will place a flag in between the subject and the light to cast a crisp line down the subject's face. Now with soft light, this shadow would not even be noticeable, but with hard light, it becomes a bold part of the composition. Now I can add a piece of lace or other material and I'll get even more interesting results. I love the visuals of vintage Hollywood portraits and film noir movies. They're so romantic, dramatic, and mysterious. And more often than not, the film noir scenes that I adore are using hard light. They use hard main lights to cast shadows in the scene, hard room lights to create crisp, bright highlights. And this cinematic look really comes to life with hard light leading the way. Seeing how much I love hard light, you may ask, what about the skin? You said the skin wouldn't look good. Well, first and foremost, I make sure that I use the right makeup on my subjects. I get them looking as good as possible in camera. And sometimes, to save myself the hassle, particularly in film noir images, I'll overexpose the skin. This reduces the amount of retouching necessary. Simply popping the highlights in post is going to have a similar result. And finally, sometimes I just accept that I may have to do more blemish removal. I may have to do more retouching, and this may just be the cost of me creating something that really stands out. My challenge to you is this, dip your toes in or dive right in, try hard light. It may not come naturally as first, but eventually you'll come to love the control and drama that it creates. To see some detailed hard light setups, be sure to check out my creative studio lighting guide. Or if you wanna see more in depth on mastering studio lighting, check out my course, Master Studio Lighting. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.